Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry I haven't been uh, uploading videos lately. I was gone on a little mini vacation. We, uh, My wife and I celebrated our 20th uh, anniversary last week and then we went uh, way down to the Hocking Hills area in Ohio um, for the weekend. Well, kind of a long weekend. And I was waiting for parts anyways. And um, So, if you're ever down that way, that's worth going to. I know I'm from Michigan. I'm not supposed to say anything nice about Ohio, but I'll tell you what, we had a good time. Um, did a lot of hiking. It was actually a fairly reasonable vacation. Um, the hotel was probably the expense, most expensive thing. Food, yeah. But I tell you what, the food was great. We ate at, uh, let's see, was it Shamrock's Irish Pub, I think it was, for... Uh, for lunch or dinner one day, that was excellent. Uh, we ate at, uh, is it 58 West or West 58? Um, they had some outdoor dining. We, I know we weren't there for lunch. I bet that is a pretty cool place to be at, at night. Um, just the way it was set up. Um, of course, we were there during the day. Then, uh, where else? Oh, Millstone, uh, was it Millstone Barbecue or something like that right there off of Highway 33 there. Uh, they're known for their Southern Barbecue. Uh, and I'm sure they're known for other things there too. But uh, I had the brisket. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm quite the connoisseur when it comes to eating meat. But anyways, so I highly recommend that. Um, another shout out to um, Andy. Ohio MM did me a solid mention me on his YouTube channel. So I'm going to do the same. So... Andy, he cut himself a little bit short. You know, he said, uh, you know, he then maybe I know more than him. I, I don't know if I go that far. But anyways, he does excellent work. I've been to Andy's place, seen his, seen his set up there, uh, his tractors. Uh, he's very meticulous. Um, they're very, very detailed. I, I do enjoy his videos. He does say he's a little bit dry, maybe, but you know, we're all a little different, so. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm come down. I don't know if the you know, trees were pollinating or something down there in Ohio, but man, got me all stuffed up. Anyways, uh, back to Andy. He's got a real nice place. Hey, check out his channel, Andy uh, Ohio MM. He's got some pretty neat stuff. He's working on some lawnmowers, lawnmowers right now, and does a little tinkering. He's got a E302 LP. Eh? That's uh, my bucket list to have right there. I, you know, of course, you know I've got gasolines and I've got diesels around here. But uh, I do like the LPs. But anyways, so for now, we're back to working on the red, white, and blue 950. I've got enough parts right now that we can do something. So we're going to uh, uh, hopefully get the clutch on today. Um, I'm going to put the uh, pilot hub, you know, for the... Uh, um, PTO, geez, I don't know why I'm having a little brain farts, but I am, so, but I got it here, I got one side cleaned up, I think I need to clean up the other side real quick, and we'll get at that. Grab my, oh, I got a pick in here somewhere, what's in this one? At least I thought it was. Oh, it's over here. Stuff everywhere. What did I do with the rings earlier? Looking all over for some oil rings, and they're right here. Cleaned up a little bit more here. I see that uh, our July and April weather has left us. And back to reality, it's like 40 degrees here in Michigan.
Make sure we keep everything where it needs to be. If I remember right, this was didn't come off all that easy, so she probably won't go back on all that easy. Come on, baby. Oh, boy, that thing is, it's, you got to be just perfect to get it back on. Come on. Well, let's rotate them. I think, I don't think this has got to be orientated one way or another. Could be wrong. Pull her back a little bit. Come on. Wow. Just gotta be just right. Try this again. Oh, we're, we're on farther than we were before. Come on, baby. I don't want that O-ring to fall out. Maybe I should have put some grease on that to hold that in place, but. Gaining now. Yeah, I probably should put some grease on that. I don't want to hit it too hard either. <clears throat> Almost. Okay, and of course the old ring fell out. I think I'm gonna take it back off and just put some grease on it. Come on, there we go. Come on. Okay, I'll get some grease. Oh. Yeah, I think I got plenty on there this time. Jeez. Okay. Let me wipe some, some of it off. It's not like it can slip. But that'll, that'll definitely hold it in there.
hard to hard to imagine something slippery will hold. Yeah, as soon as I get this tractor together, I want to throw it on the disc and try it out. But now it's going to have to dry out again. But, you know, it's just the middle of April, and there's a lot of guys around here who won't plant corn until after May, and sometimes even um, after Mother's Day in May. Uh, I used to work for an organic farmer, and that was their rule. No corn goes in the ground before Mother's Day. You know, mostly because um, they don't put uh, seed treatment on organic seed, or at least a good one, that, you know, protects against, you know, the stuff that happens during cold weather. You know, sometimes I hate to see corn be put in the ground and then just sit there for a while. Could could rot, bugs eat it, combination of everything. So, all right, now we got a seal to put in. And the flywheel. Oh, what is that seal number? Let's see the seal. Got from Welters. So you can see that 10A29209. Put a little. Uh, oh, not that stuff. I was going to put the stuff I used for on that 900 LP on the valves. I want to I'll put some. Just a dab of aviation sealer on the outside of this. Cool. Guess I should have grabbed that the other way. Oh, and I put my hammer over there, didn't I? flush okay that's good so the new bearing I actually got this from my buddy Clinton Kelly star Mountain Kansas uh, if you can see that 10 a 19804 is the new pilot bearing but this new pilot bearing is actually smaller than the old one just by skosh but uh, if you look in the parts book, I can't remember what it is, but the, yeah, there's this brass ring, kind of acts like a speedy sleeve, fits in there, and then this one fits inside it. So, we'll seal that in there too. Not gonna hurt anything. I think I'll put some on the outside of that too. So I think it might be easier to put them both in at the same time. I could be wrong. And we're going to find out here shortly. <clears throat> well, maybe, maybe I will try to put that in there way. So <clears throat> that'll fit in there. Oop, gotta go in semi-straight there, doofus. Let's 
needs to be going in. further let's take her to the tractor there's any flight wheel marks on this thing Okay. This is where I could have used some help. <clears throat> oh. Okay. I got it. Okay, it'll stay on there now. Here, let's put some put a nut on there. Whoo! That was a good workout. Well, I'll set you down. You guys can see. I'll just get these snug, then I'll torque them in. Moses barking. That means somebody's coming up the driveway. I didn't put any Loctite on these because they are lock nuts. There's a torque spec. <clears throat> wow, we've been working on this thing 25 minutes already. Gee. All right, let's look. Book says 22 to 24 foot pounds of torque on these. There's one. It's a brand new clutch, brand new pressure plate. I got a socket up here I'm going to use to align that. I was just going to get all the bolts started first. Ooh. Let's 
Yeah. Yeah. Nope, one more after this. All right, one more. Right in front of my face is where it was. I couldn't see it. Them a little bit tighter yet. Oh, I can't wait to hear this thing run again. I know it hasn't been all that long, but... That light isn't the best for you guys, is it? Let's try this. Is that any better? I had uh, somebody commented in one of the videos here about uh, upgrading this to a to a bigger clutch, um, you know, handle more horsepower. Well, I 100% agree with that. If I was farming with this tractor, um, but this tractor, you know, rest of my years, it probably won't get 100 hours. So I don't, I don't think I need to spend that money on that. But if I was going to use it every day, I 100% agree. Um, the, the uh, G1000 1050 had a bigger clutch in it, is what the, that guy was commenting, which he's correct. So, oh, what I do with the torque wrench way over there? This tractor probably might do a little haying, maybe. It might plow once in a great while, but nothing. It's not going to do anything more than it was what it was intended to from the factory. Especially being a heritage item, got to take care of it. All right, where are we at here? There's 20, so right, right there. Where's the zero at? Zero. 20. That was 22 to 24, so we'll set her at 23. There. Go ahead, stupid gravity. You see that? It's a gust of gravity right there. All right. I'm gonna grab one more extension. All right. Get that in there nice and centered. I have done that before changing clutches. I have put the, uh, did I do that one already? The clutch and pressure plate on the input shaft, then put the tractor back together. And uh, um, put the bolts in the rest of the way um, through the inspection holes. I probably could do that with this one. But. This time we'll we'll do it the the old-fashioned way here, I guess. So okay. Boy, 23 foot pounds is not very much. 
at least we want to double check that but they're lock washers I guess Just double check the book right there. Attach the gun cover to the flywheel and tighten. Attach the clutch cover assembly to the flywheel and tighten the cap screws to torque of 22 to 24. Okay. So I did. Okay. Now I think we'll work on this torque. Uh, Perk seal. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Shims are very important. All right, I think I can get to that from the back side. Pound that out. I should have a long, long punch here. That can be long enough. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll pop this out. Here, I'm we'll taking seals and get them out of the way. But gotta put them back in. There's a reason. They're there. I did a water pump one time on a 900. And I didn't put all the shims back in behind the water pump. And I did that in the fall before winter. And then uh, springtime went to start the tractor. And it was like it was stuck. I couldn't figure it out. I, what the heck's going on, you know? Well, then I, I loosened up the uh, the water pump just a little bit. And it, turned, it, it would turn over after that. So I learned my lesson there. If it has shims in there, there's a reason for it. All right, let's get me one of them fancy seal pullers. That was my finger. Coming. Let me grab a longer, longer punch. Ooh, what's this thing? That looks like a nail. Well, come on. seal was not in its prime so she was like that I've got a new seal here somewhere for that let's clean this up a little better here oh look at there my hands are dirty again Seal right here. What did I do with that seal? You guys see that, that seal? Put it back in the bag. So, seal for that 10A29256 still available through Agco.
Alright. I was pounding on that side. So that'll be the side that goes down. Right. That's the good side. That's the side that goes up. Okay. Got her figured out. I don't know. I don't want to put it backwards. It's kind of looks like it's double lipped. Let's see. And that shaft. Yep. Just like that. Okay. You got a new towel. Maybe. Clean this up a little bit. Got that in. Okay, let's not forget our shims. Let me go back to the tractor. Actually, I think I'm gonna switch batteries. Okay. Oh, you know, I wonder if I should put something on there. Need some grease on that. Grease. grease on this so don't uh, don't grab on there and that'll help that go together better too won't it okay a couple bolts in there to try to hold that thing together or hold hold the shims all intact here I'll see if I can put you down just a little bit more Come on, baby, start. <laughs> Some of the bolts are a little bit longer. That's where, oh, here. Your longer bolts, here, let me see if I can get a little better light. There we go. So, like here, here, uh, takes a longer bolt. 
see if you can see the difference there. Sorry, my hands are so dirty, but you know what we're doing here. So the longer ones go in here, then your shorter bolts will go in there. I gotta push it back in there farther yet. Two hands. <clears throat> you wiggle her back and forth. Yep, I remember that now. <clears throat> there. That one started. Let's see, this is a long one or short one? That's a short one like it's supposed to be. Okay. You remember that one bolt that I thought was broke off? I think it was this one, maybe it was this one. That's actually, um, on the three speed, it's for a dowel pin to hold that one gear back behind here. That's a long one like it's supposed to be. One of these has that clip on it, doesn't it? I think it's this one. I think it's this one. I don't remember which way that goes, but we'll tighten that up later anyway. So. Nicholas was here just to get me my 916. He's not feeling so good today. Neither am I. A little brain fog issue myself. There. Go ahead. Just fall down. See if I care. Okay, there it is, all put back together on this end. I'm, let's see, yeah, I'm ready to put her back together now. Make her one again. Here, walk around the other side. <clears throat> I've got the clutch pedal hooked back up too. Uh, we'll adjust the free play once I get her back together. So, for now, well, I guess that's enough for this one. It's been quite a long video already, I'm sure. Um, the next one, we'll put it back together. I'm going to do that. I'm going to fix. I've got some O-rings that just come to fix the leaks on uh, the steering motor there. We'll do that before we put the tank on. Clean it up a little bit more, I hope. So, that's the progress right now. So, for now, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.